What's up guys, it's Justin here, and believe it or not, this thing right here, standalone, can project up to a 100 inch 1080p full HD image. So, this is a projector from LG called the Mini Beam. I've actually tested out quite a few portable projectors in the past year, and this is the first one that I believe was worthy to make a video of. It actually works, the image quality is decent, and I think it has a lot of smart capabilities, as well as I.O. that make it essentially something that you can take anywhere with you and start using for many different purposes. LG did partner up with me for this video to show you guys some of the uses that I've had for the LG Mini Beam. So like I mentioned, the LG Mini Beam is a projector that can project up to 100 inches at full HD resolution. Of course, with the projector, the video quality is going to be its most important thing, but the fact that this can fit in a backpack and run for up to two and a half hours without any power, it does have a battery built in, is just the most impressive feature about it. Personally, what I set it up for is in my apartment, you guys might have noticed there are a ton of big walls that are pretty much empty. So in my dining room, it was a perfect place to be able to set up a projector and have it project on a much larger wall. With Smart TV built in, I'm able to use stuff like YouTube, Netflix, and Hulu without having to connect an external Smart TV streamer to the projector. The full-size remote that's included makes it very easy to obviously turn it on and off, change your channels, your volume, as well as some of the settings in the menus of the LG Mini Beam and the Smart TV navigation. Beyond that, I also do game occasionally with friends, and the games that I like to play the most are sports games, so those are multiplayer, and having a larger display is always a better experience. I connected my PS4 Pro to the projector directly through the HDMI on the back, and the gaming experience was great, especially at such a large scale. Another use that I had for my projector is the tech storage room, which I kind of have as a place to just store my tech products, but there is also a blank wall there. And it's a room that has no windows nearby, so setting up the projector in there was really easy and it looked really good every time. Being a pretty small room where cabling for a TV just wouldn't be ideal, setting up the projector on a tripod or on a shelf made it easy to just start projecting to that room right away. Beyond that, for people who do photography and music videos, if you want that kind of vibey feel where the subject is standing in front of the projector and the image is projected onto them while you're recording or taking a photo or something, this is also the perfect option for that because of its portability. Talking a bit more about portability though, I did already mention multiple times in this video that this projector is very easy to take around and the image quality is pretty good, which is what is most important in my case. With up to a two and a half hour battery life, you're able to game for quite a while or even just watch a full movie or a couple TV shows. And all you have to do is take your charged up mini beam, toss it in a backpack and take it to a friend's house or if you're going camping and have somewhere to project it on where there might not be internet or power access, but just wanna be able to enjoy some multimedia while you're there. I think because it's just coming up to summer now, this is a great gadget to have. On the back, you're gonna find an ethernet port for wired internet, two HDMI port, a USB port for media, as well as a USB type C port, which is always great to see, a headphone jack for audio, as well as a DC in for keeping it powered against the wall. I think a couple things that this projector can improve on to make it even better is obviously the speakers. Because it's such a small size, the speakers just don't sound the greatest, but you do have the option to connect a Bluetooth speaker or audio source to the projector to have a better sound experience. I also noticed that over a period of time, the projector does get quite warm and the fans start to kick in and it does make a bit of sound, but I didn't notice it to be any functional issue. It was sort of just an observation while using it. When it comes to brightness, this projector, like all of them, does perform best when it's perfectly dark. And I did notice that in brighter situations, it didn't perform as well. It could have been a bit brighter, but honestly, at its size, there's really no complaints of the LG Mini Beam because if you take a look at the checklist of things that you should expect out of a very portable projector, it's battery life, it's image quality, it's smart TV capabilities, it's IO, and the speakers, you're able to connect an external speaker, and if you're taking this camping or something, then you're more than likely going to have a Bluetooth speaker handy to be able to work with the LG Mini Beam. Otherwise, like I mentioned, if you guys have any questions, make sure you drop a comment down below and drop a like on this video, and I'll see you all in the next one.